Hello all, Jeff here with a new video. We have a new forza -thon in Forza Horizon 3 called Wearing Green. First challenge is to perform 10 Lucky Escape skills to earn 95,000 XP. That's either 4 or 5 wheel spins depending on where you're at. Fourth challenge is, second challenge I should say, is to complete a race. Any race in any car to receive 35,000 credits. Third challenge is to get 3 stars on the Rainforest Reveal Danger Sign to win the 1975, sorry, the number 75 Subaru WRX STI Rally Car. And the fourth challenge is to complete any co-op event to win three wheel spins. This event celebrates St. Patrick's Day. Now, how do you do a lucky escape skill? Let's have a look. Do a drift and near miss skill at the same time. Normal drift, e-drift is fine. If you hit a car trying this, doesn't work. If you end up on, if it's dodgy and you're nowhere near the car, it's not going to work. It is very hard to do. Now up here I'm using the Dodge Viper Horizon Edition. And as you can hear, as I get another lucky escape skill done, this doesn't have the 8.4 litre V10 under the hood. Instead, it's got the turbocharged Lamborghini V12, just like what the Ford GT Horizon Edition has. So many of you American muscle car enthusiasts are thinking, hang on, you just turned 10 playground games and ruined a Viper. But remember, this is a Horizon Edition. With the stock Vipers, you can just have them with the V10 as is. And that's what I personally prefer them to have. But anyway, there's confirmation that I've got the 95,000 XP. 95,000 XP? fair considering how hard they are to do. So let's go. And I've got five wheel spins here. So let's see what I get out of these. When I decide to hit A. Best prize here, Toyota Supra Horizon Edition. But I'm not going to get it. I end up with 50,000 credits. Second prize. Best prize here is the Mercedes-Benz SLK 55 AMG. Almost got the SVT Raptor, but end up with 40,000 credits. Oh, Hellcat Horizon Edition. In my opinion, I don't have this car, but could probably be better than a Demon Bar. Get 20,000 credits. Ah. Best price here, the Chevy Camaro Z28. The older model. In my opinion, the better looking model too. 20,000 credits. Really? And the last wheel spin, best prize is the Opal Manta 400. What do I get? 30,000 credits. So, how about we do a race? So, I'm just going to go to my map and pick any non-championship race I see on my map. Now, there's the Undiscovered route, but I'm not going to go there. That's probably a race, you know. But... I do see a non-championship race here, the Rolling Meadows Circuit. So this race is three laps. Um, let's see how we go. As I get hit from behind, this is a single player race, mind you. And I actually got off to a really good start here. Even though, because of the ridiculous amounts of power this thing has, it's n not very good out of tight corners. Lap two. Look at that for a move. But I've hit the jump and the wall. I've lost the spot there. And we get into this tidy right hander. Go way too wide on the grass. Go on the throw way too early. And I spun all on my own. And then this Mustang is just like trolling with me, even though it's single player. And look at that. He's a stormtrooper. Leave Luke Skywalker alone, mate. Anyway. It doesn't matter where you finish in this event. First place, dead last, doesn't matter. So, as we get all the front wheels in the air, miss the checkpoint. Dead last now. And that's where I finished. Doesn't matter. Get 35,000 credits. Not many credits, but at least it's a Forza Thon event completed. As confirmed. Now, let's go to the Rainforest Reveal Danger Sign. It's located right by the site, the word rainforest on your map. Three stars, 91 meters, 299 feet, 100 yards. So, 
Let's see what I can do with this. I've already earned three stars here, but that was... I can't remember when I did that. So, even if you've already got three stars, you have to get three stars during this Forzathon event in order to get the 1975, number 75, WRX. Now, as you can see, already got 91 meters. Bang! And it still counts. Okay. Now, the wing's gone. I'm not 100% sure if it actually worked or not. Right about this time, the achievement actually did pop up, but because my Elgato's not failing and I'm using a USB stick to capture, there's your confirmation that I've got the car. So, in terms of the co-op event, go to social and go to co-op campaign. You can either just find any session or create a session with a friend. Either way is going to work. So I decided to give the num number 75 Subaru WRX a bit of a spin. Now, it's not that fast in a straight line, but the acceleration is on point. Really good for off-road. Now, unfortunately, when I went to record the co-op event, the capture failed. So unfortunately, I can't show you what happened. However, it was me and someone else beating a very generous target to get the to get um to using the aerial nomad along the beach at Byron Bay. So I can't show you that, I'm sorry. Now in regards to the three wheel spins, I end up winning the 1977 Aston Martin V8 Bandage, very cool British muscle, as well as the Toyota Super Horizon edition. A car you will see me use in future videos. Now I'm really pumped for this car because this car is not available as a Forza edition in Forza Motorsport 7 because Toyota told Turn 10 to get No, I'm not going to swear on my channel for no apparent reason. But you get the picture, don't you? Finally you get to see my face on my channel. Anyway, here is the no number 75 Subaru WRX STI rally car in its natural habitat off-road along the beach at Byron Bay. As I'm about to drive past the aerial nomad, I was driving in the co-op event, which you didn't see, unfortunately. But yeah, it's actually a, a very good car. And I have won this in previous Wars Upon events, so I've got two of these. Now I'm going to sell one of them in the auction house because there's not much point having two of the same car. But anyway, it is a good car. If you don't have it, get it. As we have a look at the coastline of Byron Bay, and there is the Subaru WRX I just won, in need of a good wash. Anyway, make sure you leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. Most importantly, subscribe for more content, whether that's here in Horizon 3 or for Motorsport 7. This is Jeff here, and happy racing. Cheers.